In a season of inspiring and challenging stories across the BBC. Tonight at 10, Theresa May ends a difficult week by winning the support of some of the Cabinet's leading Brexit backers. Michael Gove, widely expected to resign because of Mrs May's Brexit plans, is staying on as Environment Secretary. Do you have confidence in the Prime Minister, Mr Gove? I absolutely do. I think it's absolutely vital that we focus on getting the right deal in the future and making sure that in the areas that matter so much to the British people, we can get a good outcome. The Prime Minister is still facing a possible vote of no confidence, but the Cabinet's newest member is warning colleagues against. This is not a time for changing our leader. This is a time for pulling together, for making sure that we remember who we are here to serve, who we are here to help. That's the whole of the country. We'll have the latest on a possible leadership challenge and on today's Cabinet appointments also tonight. Levels of poverty in some British towns and cities are a disgrace, according to a United Nations survey. In the US, rescue workers are intensifying their search after California's deadliest wildfire. The number of people missing is now over 600. If I may ask that's one enough. other question, Mr. President, if I may, if I may ask Peter, one other question, are you worried? Of... That's enough. That's Mr. enough. Mr. President, that's enough. And the White House reporter who that's clashed enough. with President Trump is to get his press pass returned by order of a judge. Good evening. At the end of a very challenging week for the Prime Minister, when her future was openly questioned by colleagues, Mrs May has moved to fill the gaps created by this week's resignations following the publication of her Brexit plans. Steve Barclay, a junior health minister who supported the Leave campaign, has been promoted to Brexit secretary, replacing Dominic Raab. And the former Home Secretary, Amber Rudd, makes a return to the Cabinet as Work and Pension Secretary. And despite speculation that he would resign in protest at the draft withdrawal agreement, Michael Gove has declared his confidence in Mrs May's leadership and stays on as Environment Secretary. But the Prime Minister's position is still far from secure, with a growing number of Conservative backbenchers calling for a vote of no confidence. This report by our political editor Laura Koonsberg does contain some flashing images. Reminder that uh, Newsnight is on BBC Two here on BBC One. It's time for the news where you are before we join this year's Children in Need once again. So have a good night. Hello and welcome to Sports Day. I'm Hugh Wisencroft. Our main headlines this evening.